हेलो माय डियर ऑल स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल ज्ञान मंजी ऑनलाइन एजुकेशन आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड सेफ एट योर होम सो माय डियर ऑल स्टूडेंट्स इन अवर लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैड स्टार्टेड अवर सेकंड यूनिट फ्रॉम सप्लीमेंट्री रीडर मोमेंट्स एंड द नेम ऑफ द यूनिट इज द एडवेंचर्स ऑफ टोटो सो द नेम ऑफ द टोटो दैट इज अ बेबी मंकी right so that grandfather narrator's grandfather had it so let's go with our remaining portion uh so grandfather was going for his pension and he just kept that baby monkey toto with him so the ticket collector looked closely at the tortoise and prodded it it with his four finger so whenever when uh, that toto looked back means so uh, that uh, ticket collector he just saw that uh, toto but it was looking like a dog so uh, ticket collector told to grandfather narrator's grandfather uh, that you have to pay for him so uh, he uh, so here grandfather he just um, he just uh, show tortoise because he had it so um, here that uh, ticket collector said that no charge because it is not a dog so here we can see the picture ticket collector with grandfather narrator's grandfather so we can say that sahara station was there railway station we can see and in his bag we can see that toto he was just uh, showing his head only he was looking very beautiful like a cute baby monkey right so let's go further when toto was finally accepted by grand grandmother he was given a comfortable home in the stable where he had for a companion the family donkey nana so here so uh, before that grandfather and the narrator they didn't re revive the presence of toto so here they just revealed it and it was just accepted by the grandmother and he was given a comfortable home toto he was given a comfortable home in the stable where he had for a companion the family donkey nana so on toto's first night in the stable so he was uh, living in the stable so his first night in the stable grandfather paid him a visit to see if he was comfortable so maybe every night grandfather just uh, uh, took care for his uh, pet animals and all the birds so here to toto he just came grandfather came to see of him on toto's first night in the stable grandfather paid him a visit to see if he was comfortable to his surprise he found nana means donkey name of the donkey was nana so he found nana without apparent cause pulling at her halter and trying to keep her head as far as possible from a bundle of hay so he was doing the kind of action over there then grandfather gave nana a slap across her haunches and she jerked back so uh, that uh, nana was doing something means that donkey was doing something with his Uh, halter and all the things. So what did the grandfather do? He just. Uh, 
he just slap across her haunches is and she jerked back that donkey just jerked back or we can say nana jerked back and dragging toto with her he had fastened on to her long ears with his sharp little teeth so he had fastened on to her long ears so on his long ears he had fastened with his sharp little teeth so he had very sharp little teeth toto and nana never became friends they were uh, fond very angry or they fond very uh, fighting a great treat for toto during cold winter evenings was the large bowl of warm water given by given him by grandmother for his bath so here uh, that little baby monkey he was just taking bath so uh, what was the great treat for toto so during cold winter uh, during cold winter evenings so the grandmother came and with large bowl of warm water so uh, it was given to that uh, toto and uh, grandmother uh, grandmother just uh, gave it to toto for his bath he would cunningly test the temperature with his hand then gradually step into the bath first one foot then the other as he had seen me doing so here on that ball he was just going in there and first he just uh, just uh, measure the temperature uh, whether that is comfortable or not with his hands he was just uh, cunning his cunning the temperature with his hands then gradually very slowly step into the bath first one foot then the other foot as he had seen me doing so he just did it and uh, show it to others until he was into the water up to his neck so up to his neck he just uh, uh, went into the water once comfortable he would take the soap in his hands or fit so after comfortable uh, after feeling comfortable he just uh, would take the soap in his hands or fit he just took it a uh, soap in his hands and rub himself all, all over as human beings as uh, whenever we just went to bath uh, we take bath on that time uh, how we rub the soap all over on uh, like that it was just doing so when the water became cold he would get out and run as quickly as he could to the kitchen fire in order to dry himself so uh, uh, just he was just doing funny things in the water but uh, when the water became very cold so what did he do he would get out and run as quickly as he could to the kitchen fire in order to dry himself just to dry himself he just get out from that water and ran as quickly as he could go to that kitchen fire and he himself dry if anyone laughed at him during this performance toto's feelings would be hurt and he would refuse to go on with his bath so one day toto nearly succeeded in boiling himself alive so here what happened so whenever if anyone laughed at him if he found anyone laughed at him so during this performance whatever he did this things so during that performance if anyone laughed at him toto's feeling would be hurt toto felt very hurt and he would refuse to go on with his bath then he refused to go to uh, go with him as uh, on go with his bath 
one day Tutu nearly succeeded in boiling himself alive. So, uh, which kind of thing uh, successfully? So, uh, he just uh, tried to boil himself alive. <clears throat> A large kitchen kettle had been left on the fire to boil for tea and Toto, finding himself with nothing better to go, decided to remove the lid. So, a large kitchen kettle had been left on the fire. It was just left on the fire. fire. Why? To boil for tea and Toto. Because it just wanted warm. Finding himself with nothing better to do. So, they decided to remove the lid. Then finding the water just warm enough for a bath. He got in. So, here uh, that Toto. Just finding the water. Just uh, It was just becoming warm for bath. Then they just got it with his head stitch, sticking out from the open kettle. So, here... He got in into the water and with his head sticking out from the open kitter. So this was just fine for a while until the water began to boil. So that was fine. But until the water began to boil. So Toto then raised himself a little but finding it could outside set down again. So here uh, maybe he was just jumping. So then Toto raised himself a little and finding it cold outside. He was feeling very cold outside and again sat down. He continued hooping up, just hooping up, jumping up and down for some time. That Toto, it was just continued hooping up and down for some time until grandmother arrived and holded him. Half boiled out of the keto. So how the uh, uh, human beings, baby, how they behave like that, uh, Toto was behaving. So uh, until a grandmother just arrived and holded him, uh, from that time, uh, up to that time, that Toto was just hum, uh, hoping up and down. Half boiled out of the keto. If there is a part of the brain especially devoted to mischief, that part was largely developed in Toto. So, uh, if brain was there especially devoted to mischief, and that part, that part, it was very largely developed in Toto. So, we can see the development of brain in Toto. He was always tearing things to pieces. Whenever one of my aunts came near me, he made every effort to get hold to hold of her dress and tear a hole in it. So what did he learn? Just to tear something. So whenever one of my aunts, whenever narrator's aunt came near him on that time, what did uh, Toto do? do so he made every effort to get hold of her dress and just tear a hole in it one day at lunch time a large dish of pulao stood in the center of the dining table so at the center of the dining table one day at the lunch time the large dish of pulao was there we entered the room to find Toto stuffing himself with rice. So, what did he do? So, he was just stuffing himself with rice in the room whenever they entered. So, my grandmother screamed and Toto threw a plate at her. So, whenever grandmother became angry and she just screamed, on that time, what did he do? What did Toto do? So, he just threw that plate at her, at grandmother. One of my aunts rushed forward and received a glass of water in the face. 
When grandfather arrived, Toto picked up the dish of pulao and made his exit exit through a window. So, uh, that auntie did like that. She just received a glass of water in the face. When grandfather arrived, Toto picked up the dish of pulao. So, when grandfather entered on that time, that Toto just uh, capped the dish of pulao and made his exit through a window. So, he just uh, went away tr through the window. We found him in the branches of the jackfruit tree. The dish still in his arms. So, uh, still he had a uh, uh, dish in his arms. So, uh, they just uh, found Toto from that branches of the jackfruit tree. He remained there all afternoon, eating slowly through the rice, determined on finishing every grain and then in order to spite grandmother who had screamed at him, he threw the dish down from the tree and chattered with delight when it broke into a hundred pieces so here he remained there all afternoon because what did he do through all the afternoon so he was eating slowly through the rice determined on finishing every grain he was just finish uh, finishing all the grain and then in order to spite grandmother who was who had just screamed at him so grandma grandmother just uh, before that she had just screamed at toto and then he threw that dish down from the tree and chattered with delight when it broke into a hundred pieces so, so again grandmother screamed her screamed him and he threw the dish down from the tree and then chattered with delight with it broke into a hundred pieces so it just converted into hundred pieces obviously toto was not the sort of pet we could kept for long even grandfather realized that we were not well to do and could not afford the frequent loss of dishes clothes curtains and wallpaper because it uh, that toto was just eating all the things so uh, here narrator was telling us that it was not sort of pet uh, which they could keep for long time even a grandfather realized after um, some events when uh, because here uh, narrator was telling that they were not afford to uh, lose uh, lose of dishes clothes curtains and wallpaper so he was just uh, doing very bad things with this kind of all the things he just threw away all the dishes he just cut the clothes and curtains and uh, uh, also wallpaper so they can't afford obviously they can't afford to purchase something new again and again so grandfather found the tonga driver and sold toto back to him for only three rupee okay so grandfather uh, he just found that tonga driver from whom he just purchased it uh, from whom he just got that uh, Toto. So he again sold Toto back to him. So um, again he back uh, he sold Toto back to him just for rupees three. So that is very uh, interesting story, beautiful story about Toto by Ruskin Bond. So here at the end of the story, uh, grandfather sold that Toto for just rupees. Three. So we can see her here at the uh, starting of the lesson. So how many rupees were there? Five rupees. 
was there. So here we can see sum of 5 rupees. So he just uh, bought that Toto the sum of 5 rupees and sold that uh, Toto as 3 rupees. So that is the story the journey of Toto with all the family members uh, how was his behavior uh, at the end of the story his behavior was very uh, very rough behavior it had so they just uh, again solved it so here we are ending up our this unit second unit Ruskin bond so this two new words and remaining Questions you have to write down as your homework. Okay. And also talk about it. Do you have a pet? Is your pet mischievous? So tell the class about it. So uh, this question you have to write down. That remaining question in, uh, from think about it. And the one question from talk about it. You have to write down in your homework. So, if you find any difficulty regarding this, you are free to ask me. Thank you. Thank you, my dear all students. And have a nice day.